The weight of 6.7 times 10 to the 21 molecules is 1.3 grams. What is the gram weight per molecule? Let's remind ourselves that positive exponents, in this case 21, represent numbers that are greater than 1, in this case a, an extremely large number. We need to determine the ratio of weight per one molecule. We are in fact given a ratio, 1.3 grams per 6.7 times 10 to the 21st molecules, but that is not a ratio of gram per one molecule. What we need to do is divide the 1.3 by 6.7 times 10 to the 21st to get the ratio of weight per one molecule, which is 1.94 times 10 to the minus 22nd. Now we need to appreciate that negative exponents produce small numbers, meaning between 0 and 1. 1.94 times 10 to the minus 22nd is an extremely small number. And that seems reasonable for the weight of one molecule. The speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8th meter per second. How many seconds does it take light to travel 3.21 times 10 to the 10th meters? I'm going to approach solving this problem using dimensional analysis and I'm going to consider 3.21 times 10 to the 10th as the given information and 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters per second as a conversion factor. So now I'll apply dimensional analysis given times the conversion factor and in this case I need to have the meters in the denominator so the number 3 times 10 to the 8th meters needs to be in the denominator also. The meters cancel out and I divide 3.21 times 10 to the 10th by 3 times 10 to the 8th and the answer is 107 seconds. A company purchased a thousand toasters and each toaster cost them $15. What is the total cost for the toasters? I'm going to approach this problem again using dimensional analysis where we can consider the given as a thousand toasters and a conversion factor as fifteen dollars per toaster. Set up the problem, multiply a thousand toasters times fifteen dollars per toaster. The unit of toasters cancel out and you're left with fifteen thousand dollars.